I'm someone who is happy to work when others are partying. I will make it, maybe not today, but definitely tomorrow. I am the captain of my faith. I am Prakash Tiyari, an entrepreneur. I am starting this series to share my experience on how to run your startup business, what it takes after quitting your 9 to 5 comfortable job. This is my story. So some of you might know and for those who don't know that I launched 4 Lemon, the performance marketing company last year and uh, we were catering into the digital marketing platforms for the real estate segment. So uh, this has been my throughout journey now and uh, what I felt and what I have been experienced throughout my 14 years that there was a definite need of a good consultation for the real estate industry into the digital platforms. So after establishing ourselves into the market now I feel that there is a need of expansion expansion in terms of both product and as well as the team size. So, so my next meeting is with a couple of investors who are looking forward to invest in our company. Also, uh, there is a joint venture that could happen and one of the big media houses of the country is ready to provide us with the backend support and uh, they are ready to provide us their product delivery which will enhance our uh, product segment. We'll be able to give more diversified product uh, solutions to our real estate segment of clients. is to share the realities so the realities of life the realities of the business the realities of ups and downs of an entrepreneurship so it's been a year now that I've started my company and there have been a journey throughout this and uh, so I wanted to share this journey with everyone that uh, what struggle or what success that has been tasted throughout this period and uh, there are some responsibilities over my head that I need to cover out and how that balanced life has to be taken care of once you are out from your 9 to 5 job where you feel yourself secure, where you feel yourself that uh, everything is going so smooth and suddenly you take a call that I'm going to be an entrepreneur, I'm going to start my journey on. So yes, uh, it's, a, it's a nice journey, yes, it's a uh, path that needs to be followed. There has to be a routine that needs to be followed since morning till evening. So there are people to whom I need to interact. So there are my meetings that need to be done out. So it's it's the team that needs to be set it out. So yes, if you start from the scratch and you then take this journey ahead. And uh, I'm enjoying this. So relationship is something that is very, very important in, in any business. So relationship with your clients or with the staff, that is equally important to take care of your business. So once I started my entrepreneur life, I, I took out some measures. Initially, I started with my... Uh, good relationship clients and, and I also get the team that was more connected with me previously so that we can get that initial boost up in the business and initial startup uh, that that was required in this business so uh, and then the energy that is put on by all the team members and then your energy itself once you go and meet with your customers and then giving them the best of the uh, solutions that that need to be provided in the business that is very very important <music> If a sales call is being done, तो शायद उसमें कभी भी open ended question नहीं पूछना चाहिए। Why? Open ended question में पूछने में sales नुकसान हो सकती है। क्योंकि अगर so client engagement is another aspect of business propositions. So while you see me in the video also that I was engaged throughout this meeting with my clients and I was trying to understand their basic needs and also I was making them understand that what is the market scenario as of now. So once you understand the basic need of a client and you understand the basic problem that is coming out, you can give him the best of the solutions. So throughout this process, I was engaged throughout his team. I was engaged through, throughout his business processes. I was engaged that how his current marketing strategy is going on. As we are into the consultative role, we need to be high on our toes that we understand the client's business problem what is the problem that currently he's facing and accordingly we need to find the best solution out of it so if i conclude it's a relationship it's a dedication it's engagement so this all matters a lot so it's 155 in the afternoon i've finished off with my first half schedule i've also completed my couple of meetings so now i have one more meeting scheduled to line up and that is with one of my clients who is a very old client of mine and he's looking for some of kind of uh, customized solutions on the digital platform so after I finish that meeting I will be free for today 
and then I'm planning to go for some kind of shopping for myself. I haven't uh, done a bit shopping for myself. I need to have some good stuff because once you are into this life, you need to take out some time of your for your own also. So this is something that is a work-life balance that you need to take care because every time uh, once the business part is there, the, then the, you don't have that much time to give the for the family. But still, you need to manage it out. <laughs> We had a shopping my, for myself and for baby. It lies within you. Trust yourself, believe in yourself, have faith in your team members and be loyal to your customers. With that said, I am signing off for today's walkthrough. So for my upcoming videos, subscribe to my channel and please do hit the bell icon so that you are updated with my upcoming videos.